I am Bill Cartwright with Living Right with Bill Cartwright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am Bill Cartwright, and I am here with the super millennial, David Barreto. How you doing, David? I'm doing good. Doing the episode in your jammies today, son? Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, I am. So we are recording this on Christmas Day, right? You slept in today? Oh, a lot, man. A lot? I miss Santa. <laughs> <laughs> he was here and gone by the time I woke Santa, up. <laughs> Santa snuck in, left it. You're working in your jammies. Who yeah. else can we do this, right? Uh, it's it, the benefits of working You know nobody else is putting out content but us because we're crazy, <laughs> right? And this week, our topic is spirituality. And today's Connection Thursday, we are discussing the connection to knowing. So knowing is defined as showing or suggesting that one has knowledge or awareness that is secret or known to only a few people. I thought that was a great definition because stress mastery, really those that have accomplished stress mastery is known to very few people. But if you look at it, scientifically look at it, stress mastery is actually our natural state. The stress, the chaos we perceive as normal is actually not natural to the human being. So knowing is very different from knowledge. We've had this conversation many times, David, and we've discussed this in past episodes. Knowing can only come from experience and knowledge can never achieve change in a person. I don't know how. Yeah. Right? So when I was training the doctors in the clinic, they would be coming out with from medical school. They had knowledge, a lot more knowledge than I did, mm -hmm. but they didn't have knowing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we had a Christmas Eve party, huh? Yes. We're recording this at Christmas. <laughs> and uh, Bill ate and drank a little bit. It was good. Bill drank a little, huh? It's a good time. So I ate and drank a bit. Got got home pretty early. I got home pretty early. You know, yeah. we got home like we got home early. You weren't home. You were out, passed out on the couch when we left. So, so we got home a bit early. I'm not I'm throwing you under the bus. With, I'm sleeping with the dog. Yes, you were. <laughs> and so I slept. But here's the thing I want to talk about is, you know, I slept for about eight hours, which is quite a bit for me. That's a lot of time, right? The gyms yeah. weren't open, so I didn't have a choice. <laughs> so each morning. I check my sleep analytics. So I keep an eye on these because they tell me, these analytics, when I analyze these, they tell me if my body has repaired. And these tell me if I'm in a proper nervous system for my body to perform and my mind to perform at the highest level. So I look at my body temperature. I look at my heart rate. I look at the different stages and levels of sleep. But the main marker that determines recuperation and really determines which nervous system is on, red, or red zone or green zone, is the heart rate variability. Now, my regular H HRV, heart rate variability, that determines if I'm in the green zone is 55. Anytime I'm below 55, I'm in the red zone, right? Now, I can come in at 75, I can come in at 90, I can come in, at, usually it averages right around 55 to 60, and I know I'm in the green zone. So it's Christmas morning, eight, eight plus hours of sleep, no workout, no pressures, right? My HRV, 19. I was going to say 17. <laughs> it was bad. And this means I'm deep in the sympathetic nervous system. I'm deep in the red zone. So what do I know? Because I am not recuperated, I know one I must manage the stress response, which is managing that insulin hormone because I cheated yesterday on the diet, right? Two, I must not lift weights or that type of workout, but I do need some aerobic exercise. So I got on my Christmas present, did a little biking. You built that for me. I was <laughs> Number three, this was a big one. I must drink water. A lot of times, you know, you drink alcohol, you become dehydrated. People have no idea how... You can have everything else dialed in. If you're dehydrated, it will keep you in the red zone. And that, the HRV is actually tied to hydration of the body. And number four, I must set the morning with some meditation. And so 
I can have all the knowledge in the world about my body, right? I can have these knowledge. I can have courses. I can have degrees. I can have all these experiences of working on other people. But it doesn't matter if I don't know my body. And so you can have knowledge about the body. Who would know? Because usually if I get eight hours sleep, I automatically assume I'm recuperated. Because <laughs> that's two more hours than normal. Right? And we're not working today, although we are just doing this quick podcast, right? But that's not really work for us. We're kind of, you're playing games. I'm watching movies with your mom. We're chilling. Still in our pajamas. Still, (laughs) I'm not in my pajamas because I I actually worked, I did do a little cardio today. So, but think about this. You can't have knowledge. It's impossible. You can have all the knowledge in the world, but you can't know the body. You can't know your body without testing. And you can't, know the body without monitoring this and that's actually what creates connection to knowing you know your body works so i know my body doesn't handle alcohol very well although i I didn't get drunk too easy i think it'd be great alcoholic if i wanted to be (laughs) it's in my genes it's in my genetics i think because uh i i don't i was fine i had fun but i wasn't like falling down or stumbling or anything like that right but my body, a 19 HRV, is telling me, you're screwed today, buddy. It's a good thing I didn't have anything, any coaching or speaking or something where I had to really work, right? So this is the great challenge before us today is to learn how to really connect to knowing. Knowing and connection to knowing cannot come from the head. It must come from the heart and this is just an example of how the body works right it's just the body it's one example you can say well i don't eat carbs well do you know that's right and the only way to know something is test measure adjust now here's what i think the great challenge before us today is i think the great challenge before all of us today is to learn how to come together to create community that is not based from tribalization, not based from dogma, but a community based from knowing. See, in this type of community, you would have to have a deep respect for each person's experience. Knowing comes from experience, correct? Yeah. So I think that's a challenge for us. And, and, and I'm going to revert to your expertise because... I don't think we have that community anymore. We were talking about, I was talking with your brother this morning, you know, how, you know, kids get bored. And I never got bored as a kid. And I was by myself, raised by my grandparents, but I would go outside and I would shoot baskets for three hours by myself. But that was me. And then your brother was saying, yeah, you guys used to go out and play all the time. Well, do you ever see Jason and Maddie go out and play ever? No. They don't ever go outside. That's the generation, though, right? Yeah. They don't let them go outside. And I think what is happening in community, I think we're losing the community aspect of each person's real experience because I don't know if people are having experiences anymore. And so I'm going to revert to you, David. And, and, I, and I could be completely wrong about this. Social media, to me, has caused more disconnection. Most social media, not all, now of course not all, right? There's there's good stuff too, correct? Not all, but social media seems to separate people. It it does not allow people to have differences while maintaining their spiritual connection. We feel a need to defend, to blame, to fight. We we be, we 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 believe we know the truth, but this truth I, I ask you the question with all the noise, does this truth come from the head or the heart? Um, so as far as the, the disconnection or connection through social media, uh, I would say out of like the 10 people that I hang out with on a religious basis, I met them through social media. Um, so as far as connection, bringing stuff like that, I know there's plenty of ways that I've helped them change their lives. And it wouldn't have been possible through social media. I think it's when people use that as the disconnect from their own tribe to create their own false kind of perception. And, and I don't, again, I am no expert because really I'm, what am I on? Facebook and Twitter, right? <laughs> but I do know that, you know, there's a problem with bullying, right? Mm-hmm. Like 
when we went to school, there was always a bully. You were the bully, right? Actually, no, wasn't. You know, I, I, know, I know you were. Yeah, I, I'm just joking. I know you were. <laughs> Brett was the bully. But anyways, <laughs> there was bullying and stuff like that when we went to school, but it's not like it is today. I feel that people really have become disconnected as a community, as as uh, uh you know, we used to have communities. I would say some of the rudest comments and the most people that I see bully are actually the older generation on social media. Yeah, I'm not saying it's. And I'm that, not saying then, I'm not that, separating generations. No, and, that, this, and you that's know? no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like for for me, I think it's like the way that you guys like used to have a. There, oh, there was a bully in school, no matter who it was, and you think back and you can pinpoint that bully through your experience. Those bullies. That never changed. That program of them being bullied just turned into, oh, I have technology. Now I can do it from my comfort of my own home. I just, because you know? I see this, I see this disconnection. Um, I see, well, well, definitely we got the political stuff going on, right? And it is just nasty. It is some of the nastiest. I, I don't look at it. I just kind of throw that stuff out. I don't follow <laughs> it. But you can see it. So what I see is knowledge. If we look at knowledge, knowledge comes from the head. Knowing. And that's what we're talking about today is connecting to knowing comes from the heart. And this is where love, true love comes from the heart. In today's society, most forms of love tend to be conditional. Love comes from the head. So love is offered only when there is a perceived agreement. Recently, I had someone that I care about and they kind of flaked out on something they they had agreed to do, right? They kind of flaked out. And this person is pretty important to the processes of where I was at and everything. And, and when they flaked out, I was angry. Then I was disappointed. Then I went into acceptance. See, I know, and I use the word with explanation points, know the process of how life works. I know that each of us must go through whatever life brings. I know that each decision is important for each of us. Each decision is going to move your life in one of two directions. And I know that each moment we either act from love, which is heart, or fear, which is head. To know is to love. To love someone who disagrees with you is rare today. Do you agree? Yeah. It's rare. To feel connection to someone who has different beliefs is actually unusual. But when you have connection to knowing, you stop judgment. You allow. This is the base of the stress mastery community. And I'm going to put the community in this particular text because I want people to understand what we're building, David. Our intentions in building this community is, one, a place where people can find knowing about their body and health. Correct? Yeah. Two. This community is designed as a place where people can understand and know how the mind can be mastered. Mm -hmm. Number three, this community is a place where we can have different backgrounds, yet talk spirituality. Yeah. Right? We don't care what your religion is. We don't care. We're not judging. And that is the tier, the unity tier that you're building. Correct? Yeah. That's what this community is. Love is a difference between knowledge and knowing because love, true love, is the heart. And that's what we're trying to build. We're trying to build a place where people can create connection and community and they can grow. And maybe their tribe doesn't believe in what they're doing and they want to step outside their tribe and they just can't. Well, this community is where I am using the technology to be able to give them that place to go. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, and, and it's cool because like, in the community, um, and I say everyone in there challenges me and not in a sense of, you know, going against what I believe and things like that, but it challenges me to be open-minded to listen to everyone else's, because it's never being forced upon, it's just sharing their experience. And for me to be open minded to just listen to it, I've gained so much from everybody already. Do you get do you get a lot of private messages? Yeah. Me too. Because they're still afraid. They're still a little bit afraid uh -huh. to share, right? See, I and I know it'll take some time, but I want I get a lot of private messages. Yeah. And I just want the people not to be afraid. Mm -hmm. It's okay, put it out there. I want to make nobody's judging you. I haven't ever seen anybody judge anybody in there yet. 
And there's some deep thinkers in there. You look at Mark, he's a deep thinker. Lee's a deep thinker, right? You look at these people and there's Sandra's coming up and growing. Like These are people growing in that community. But I've never seen anybody ever, ever put anybody else down in there. Correct? Have you? No, and and I won't let it happen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, we have monitors and stuff. I'll but have to. Thank you guys for not making me have to. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's the idea is we want to get connected, right? Love is actually the difference between knowledge and knowing. Because it's just simple. Love is connection to the heart. Real love is unconditional. It does not exclude anyone for any reason. That's important to listen to. This is knowing. And this connection to knowing changes everything. Real love requires you first to love yourself. You can't connect to knowing without, without head, heart, and hand connection. And you cannot connect head, heart, and hand without you loving you to the point that you care for the body right? To maintain this connection. You work on your personal growth so you can master the ego and maintain connection. Real love is connection to knowing. This is what we are building in the stress mastery community. In this community, everyone who comes in, you have support. You have answers. You have un conditional love. It does not exclude anyone for any reason. And real love requires you, exclamation points, to see beyond appearances, beyond religion, beyond gender, beyond backgrounds, levels of development, beyond all of that. Knowing a connection to knowing allows us to see others from an uh, inner conviction that all people, this is the inner conviction, that each of us carries a divine spark within them. It's their perception that creates the fear and chaos. But once you can see that, if somebody disagrees with you, that's their perception and you cannot stomp on their perception. Whether you agree with it or not, we don't have the right. The stress mastery community is a place that, that and this is important, Dave, it's a place that does not seek to bind or control anyone. It's why we make it free for you to explore before joining. We want you to come in and explore it. Don't join. Come in for free. Why? The community is set to empower you to grow and to allow you to find your own truths. Our goal for 2020 is to have 2,000 members from all over the world in the community. That's our goal, correct? Mm -hmm. So... This will only happen through the members within the community. That's how it's going to happen, right? The intention is to help each to connect to knowing. Each member, we want to help them connect to knowing. When someone connects to knowing, they are able to give and receive freedom. And they stop trying to control life. So as they change, everything changes. Yeah. That's the whole that's the whole premise. So do you have anything you want to say on the development of everything that we've been doing? Well, I think that's that's the big thing about the the community itself is that it's been yes, we put the content in and we are developing the technology itself, but the atmosphere and the goal itself has been driven by the members itself yep. cuz me and Bill, we have an idea of what we'd like to do when we first started the first community. Mm -hmm. And it's been shifted and shaped by what the members want. And that, like you said, it's the connection within the community to grow together. That's the idea. So we help each other, right? And and we understand people get knocked down. It's okay, right? Yeah. And I want people to feel safe that they don't have to. And you can you can still, listen, there's nothing wrong. I don't want to stop, you know, giving me, you know, private messages. But I want you to know that you can put your messages in there and you'll have more than just my answers to it you'll have hundreds of people telling you the same you know different things right yeah. so connection to knowing is what we're talking about today and as i said this begins with you and it starts with connection to your body so number one how does the body truly work you need to get knowledge here you need to understand everything from the stress response to the test in the labs and what they reveal to the daily monitoring of what I talked about on the HRV. 
You have to get knowledge. Number two, once you have knowledge, you got to create knowing. You need to follow a plan. You monitor the plan. You adjust the plan. And you then know how your body works. You will create. You will create the right diet, exercise, supplementation, and monitoring for your body. And then number three, this is where know, where you really start to know and get knowing. You encourage others to know their body. We become what we teach, but true teachers can only teach from knowing, not from knowledge. I know that sounds strange. The best teachers teach from knowing. Yeah, and, and that, that becomes almost like a, a double-edged sword because if you if you experience it, like, like uh, I'm not going to put a certain brand or anything, but if there's like a weight loss gimmick and they had success for one person, then they want to press that on to other people without having the knowledge plus the knowing because it worked for one person, you know? But there's no weight loss person that worked. There's no, 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 like where yeah, they had yeah. a, a, a moment of yeah. like they got the results that they wanted kind of thing. But they press it on other people from that because they believe they have a knowing. And that's why I say believe they have a knowing. That's why. So one of the things is, is that if you really study our stuff, you'll know that there is no right diet. Yeah, you exactly. You know what I mean? You, this is the idea is to come into community and really learn this because once you master the body, and here's the thing, you don't master the body. I'm sorry. You just don't because the body keeps changing, right? Yeah. Every day. Look at my body today. Completely off. So what? I rest today. So what? It's off. I know it's off. I know what I did yesterday. So what I'm not going to do is... Do it again. No. <laughs> not that. But no. I'm not going to feel guilty. I'm not going to go force my body. A lot of people feel guilty. And they'll go, oh, i got to go work out now. i got to feel better if I work out. Well, it would be the worst thing I could do. And I, I'm not guessing. I know it because I measure it. Right? So that's the first part is connection to, connection to knowing is the reconnection to the heart. And it starts with the body. Then... What's the next part? So you got the body, right? Now you got to connect and you got to, number one is you got to get that reconnection to the heart. Number one, you discover your purpose and you study this. Once you know your purpose, you study. And what's important to knowing your purpose is know your pendulum swing into ego in the red zone and then find others in the community with the same purpose. Because when you get two people with the same purpose, it's fun to watch them interact. So that's number one. When you're talking about connection to reconnecting the heart to get that knowing, one is discover your purpose. Two, name your ego. Then set a plan, intention to set and close the day. And start the day with Green Focus Power Hour. These are things, these are steps that you want to name your ego. That creates awareness, right? Then you want to set the intention to set and close the day. And you start the day with Green Focus Power Hour. And then number three for connection to the heart is you want to master letting go. Get into the community. Ask for accountability. Practice the let go technique. This is a practice. Share your victories and share when you fall short. Mastering that let go technique is a practice. Nobody gets it right for a while. Even you'll do it the rest of your life. That's why it's called practice. And then number four, you want to encourage others to master the mind and we become what we teach. But again, teaching must come from knowing. And so we have connection to the body. We have mastering of the mind. And finally, connection to knowing is all about living and knowing. And this is living life. All through your day, without prejudice, without judgment, and even goes towards, <clears throat> even this, this message is important because it even goes towards those Viking fans. Viking fans, <laughs> there's no judgment, okay? I have no judgment. Matthew, you know Matthew. Yes. Matthew, I'm sorry. I love you. Okay. He's like, but no. It is, just, 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 I didn't say nothing. So to live in knowing is to live life in head, heart, hand connection. And this is about unknowing connection. So number one is awareness. Finding the now, breaking the stress loop, letting go of the programs that pulls you into negative energy. So knowing that, that connection to knowing starts with one, with awareness, two, forgiveness. Forgiveness is about letting go of history, resentment, and most of all, 
forgiving yourself for getting caught in the stress loop and being streamed. And then connecting to knowing is number three is surrender. It's living in acceptance. It's embracing life with the, the knowing that life is to be lived with the purpose of us being in the aim of expansion and explore with a focus of growth, creating a behavior that drives our actions through fear. So this week, this holy time, we explored spirituality. Spirituality is when we experience life while relaxing the mind and being in the heart. So a spiritual experience is finding the now. This can happen while washing the dishes. It doesn't have to be some big explosion happening from the sky. You know, it's washing the dishes. It doesn't have to be bright lights and a Kundalini experience. It's about finding the now, <laughs> right? Happen that while you're cleaning right? dishes. Right? <laughs> but am I telling you, is I right? Connection to knowing, you simply relax the mind and uplift the heart. And this is where love is the answer. So, David, you got a free webinar coming up on higher goal setting and focus. That webinar will help you guys get aligned with higher goal setting, with identity-based goals, and to set the intentions for 2020, right? So we have that coming up for, and it's not just for our community, it's for everybody, correct? Correct. So, and then, and you'll be putting out an email on that, I take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So email, and then you guys could all see it on, on Facebook and stuff like and that. And we'll announce it here too. And then, for those that want to see what the community is all about, Come in and explore. Come in and explore the community. I got a short episode today. You did. So I figured you could talk for three minutes. Is this my Christmas present? <laughs> <laughs> I, gave, yeah. I gave your own episode, man. Go on. Yeah, sure. I, for me, I've, I've, I've noticed a lot of things in, in this kind of post on kind of like the technology aspect like you were talking about and like the community. Because you start to realize that it doesn't matter what the app is or what the social media or the technology is, is when you start to get people who are aimed at the same goal, you see that connection no matter where it's at, right? And I think that's uh, an important thing to look at when you're going through your own social media. Like I said, the, the community that we have, everyone in there is on the same page. But that's when you hop unique, on Facebook right? and things yeah. like that, there's going to be people scattered you know and look at those people because maybe even though you're not intentionally surrounding yourself with people like that they're still around you and if you're constantly feeding yourself with these negative things and just oh god just scroll by that and scroll by that you are seeing that and feeding that to yourself every single day so let me ask you a question so one of the things definitely when we talk about shifting and raising our energy right and, and creating a higher consciousness it's always about our environment we talk about the environment of our body that's why the purpose repurpose we talked this week of diet right but also we talk about what goes into our mind mm -hmm. now like abstaining from the news or really limiting yourself from that stuff that's kind of basic but i'm going to ask you this what if you have like you have Facebook and you have thousands of people and there's always negative stuff coming from you. Do you get rid of those people? So I have no problem with um, unfriending or blocking from it. And that's not to be in a disrespectful way or like, ah, I don't want to see your stuff. It's just I don't want to feed myself with it. I don't want to engage one with it. I'd rather not bring myself down to have an argument or a disagreement or anything like that with somebody. But at the same time, I've, I've, no, I've read a post and I'm like, oh, and I'd scroll by and it's bothered me for hours afterwards. A single post, I'd rather unfriend, block, or, you know, not see their stuff for me. Not for you because that's the platform where you should be able to do it, you know. But for me, it's like if I had somebody who was constantly surrounding myself, but it's talking negative, negative right? around me, I would distance myself from that person in real life. Why wouldn't you do that with somebody over and, and so out? you just dislike, right? You know, you know, yeah, because you can mute the stuff so you don't have to see it. And there's a lot of ways where you can limit yourself from being fed a lot of I don't of really negativity. have that problem that much, really. I've got a pretty because good you, following. i got a good following. I don't really have that much and, and And that's when you're not in a... Uh, 
Again, I got a few Viking fans in there. Um, <laughs> you know, you know who you are. I might see but, Matthew today. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> tell Matthew I'm very sorry about uh, about. No, I'm not. That's it for today's show. Our mission here is the greatest ship on the planet. What would you What did you tell me the other day? What'd you tell me? That I'd be enlightened if I wasn't. Oh, if there was no football. I would be enlightened. You'd be enlightened already. (laughs) It's my grandfather's fault. You can join (laughs) us on this mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. The links are right below the show. As always, until next time, stay inspired. inspired.